Uh, thank you. Again, my name is Matt Greco. I'm an Instructional Technology Facilitator from Vancouver, Washington. Um, throughout the presentation today, I'll be telling the story of our deployment our, of Canvas, and we're, and we're also a one-to-one -one iPad school district uh, in Vancouver. And I'll go over all those things, but always feel free to do this. I'm okay with the stops in between my presentations uh, when I'm talking. There's a mic, and you can always just yell too if you have a question of something I say or sounds confusing or anything. Feel free to stop me as we go. Um, here we go. Um, Vancouver, large, fairly large district. We have look at both back and forth. Uh, 24,000 students, 3,031 employees, 21 elementary schools, six middle schools, five high schools, um, and then we have a virtual arts. Uh, arts and academic school, and an iTech preparatory school. Um, we are 50% free and reduced lunch, and like most school districts, we go up and down throughout that school year. Um, on sometimes it gets up to, I'm not really sure how to do those numbers, but I've heard it 68 put some time, and then it drops down between that low 50 and high 50 number. Um, we passed a tech levy five years ago. We have, net, this coming year is our last year of our tech levy. We're the, we asked the community for $24 million to put an iPad in every third through 12th grade student and teacher in our district. Next year is our final year of that where the third graders and fourth graders will have them besides in our pilot programs. And then it actually is one more year involved and then we figure out what we do next. Where, where do we go next? And I'll kind of talk about those with Canvas and a little bit with the iPads and how we do those things. Here's a quick Nope. We also learned that if you have a PowerPoint presentation and you switch it to an iMac, it doesn't play the video anymore. Okay, There's nothing else on this other slide. I only have two videos throughout the day, so it's okay. Lee's fifth grade class are a part of an iPad one-to-one -one pilot program. We recently received a classroom set of iPads and have been learning a lot with them. Let's check in with some of my classmates. So, on your iPad, you have an app called Camera. Go ahead and tap on that. Now, on your iPad, you have an app called Camera. Go ahead and tap on that. Kahoot is a game show that we played where we have to take a quiz about the books we read. We use Canvas for um, quick checks on our math, um, book reports on literacy, and we can all do it digitally and quickly. I'm using Demigod Diaries and I'm making a comic about it and these are going to be our book reports. It's really fun because we get to do on our new iPads. We're making reports with our new iPads with an app called Strip Designer and it's a lot of fun because we can draw and we can have pictures for background. That was fifth grade. And that was our most Hi, exceptional 
teacher of our, and I'll reference him a couple more times throughout this present. Let's take a look at some apps we're using. The fatal mistake of YouTube. Back on, there we go. And it was nice, with those students, um, they were fifth graders then, and this year they, were, they did, had their sixth grade year. And I didn't know any of those kids, and this year I worked with all those students, and so the multiple times I've watched this over the last couple months, I know all, the majority of those kids at the two middle schools I also work at, and just their behaviors, how they grow from, from the elementary to the middle school and how they develop, because uh, that girl up there then who smiled, I'll call her ferocious, on, on how she attacks education and especially with Canvas, because I'm an instructional technology facilitator, but she calls me the tech guy. I, I've taught, and I, no matter how many times I tell her I'm a classroom teacher, I've taught forever, especially the classroom that I was in with her, no, you're the tech guy. You, you work on my iPad, you tell me how to use Canvas. That's all I am to her. And, but most of it's a little back and forth, and we get there, but it, it's great to see those kids. Um, but that was good, because it talked about everything that's happening. We are a Canvas district, we're int introducing it into all the levels. Um, we're also iPad, so the, how do those two mix? How do you make that engagement with those students throughout all this? Hopefully, I'll cover all those pieces, but again, always feel free. Um, our first year with um, iPads and Canvas, especially with Canvas, we just started with the middle and high schools. The middle school had already had iPads for a year, and then the following year, high schools received their iPads and Canvas at the same time. Um, great numbers in the high school with Canvas. Because they got the two devices at the same time, we'll start on both. Canvas a little harder in the middle school because they already had their set ways, they didn't want to switch back. And so we got them on board slowly. Um, 13,000 iPads in those six middle, six middle schools and four high schools. Um, they were good. Uh, we went to, I went to every one of those 10 sites and trained every staff on Canvas. And there were some elementary teachers mixed in um, this is a, a little stretch break of the one of the middle schools doing, um, this is elementary, so you guys are very well versed in Go Noodle. And that was um, Maximo. And because everyone needs Maximo in their life. Um, but from these trainings and from the introduction, we always came down to these three groups. The teachers who will, who make me look awesome. No matter what I do, I'm sure it's everyone in this room, that just do it. The projects, everything's amazing. The teachers who won't, for whatever, whatever reason, they're retiring, they just don't want it yet, their paper planner works well. I met a high school teacher, it was her, it, this is, next year will be her 49th year of teaching. She has no intention of retiring. Amazing, kids love her, French teacher. Her immaculate planner is perfect. And I'm like, I really don't want to mess with that. I'm supposed to be pushing all this stuff, but I'm engaged in her class, she's doing everything great, so there's those teachers too. There's also the teachers who think this won't last. Just another initiative in our district. Why bother? Um, and this is the group I've seen the most change with. Because they realized after the first year, and it was year two, oh, it's still here. Well, it's year two, we'll see what happens next year. And it was year three for those middle school teachers. And now, they're on board. They're ready to go to our trainings um, this coming August. And I'll get into those and what those entail for our elementary and, and other who still have that money available to them. We're all familiar with Padlet. This is a year into our Canvas deployment. We began our pilot programs with our fifth grade teachers. We chose four schools, eight classrooms. Uh, they were told, what you see is what you get. What you work with, we'll work with you, we'll meet with you. Uh, we met, we had monthly meetings. We met with those teachers. Um, and they kind of played. That first month they got their, they had their iPad, they had Canvas. Two teachers, that one in the video, who, the te that video you saw, that was from that fifth grade teacher, he made that. He makes weekly videos or monthly videos with his kids over and over again, which is great for me because they're all YouTube certified, their faces can be everywhere, so it's nice for me to use those videos. Um, but they worked together, they questioned. We met, we had boards like this all the time for them asking questions because this was the group that was gonna lead our way to the rest of the elementary schools in our district. And their problems, no matter how small or big, no matter what they did, they were the ones that were gonna help us out. That was flying by. Um, we only offered 
Canvas as our LMS for elementary in that first year of pilot program. And next year, it's their only LMS option for a, a full LMS. I'll talk about some other options later on that the lower grades are, are potentially using, uh, but it's Canvas. Uh, and how do you make Canvas appealing to all those teachers? So they see it, they, oh, my son uses that in college, my third grader can't use that. So how do we get past that dilemma? How do we get those teachers on board? Students are easy, it's the teachers we need to get on board with everything. Um, teacher as designer. We gave the teachers as much freedom as they needed um, to design the course. We provided templates. Um, they, we had graphics set up for them in those pilot programs. Um, this is Mr. Lee's class you saw in that video. He quickly changed all the graphics, went through everything. Every quiz on, it's on the next slide, Reading Wonders, uh, another pro elementary program. He put every assessment quiz in comments and did everything for he and his partner teacher from that one site. And they were busy going through everything. And his kids just did it, because he did. Because he, they are always been on the computers using video editing, and this was just the next progression for that class. The other pilot programs, it was a slower progression. It was us coming to their classroom. Okay, I want this assignment, let's walk through those steps. Okay, but it was a pilot, we are okay. It was slow start, slow beginning, but it was at those meetings when we got together and it was like the breakthrough moment. Uh, someone was asking, so how do your kids do, your te how, are you do how are you testing, how are you quizzing? We knew the answers as the ITF team, um, Instructional Technology Facilitator, ITF. Um, we knew the answers, but we wanted them to. And he goes, oh, I've just put everything in commons. And the teacher nods and looks over at, Mr. at Jeff Lee. What do you mean? What's commons? He stands up, walks over to my computer, not, he didn't really push me out of the way. He took me aside, takes over my computer, and starts walking through commons. And you kind of saw this look on those teachers of, my wife calls it my TV face. I'm staring, just jaw dropped, kind of staring, kind of looking, and you mean everything, you, everything that we use is right, already there? I don't have to do it? And so that's where it kind of came into play, is that they didn't have to do it all the time. Where they had these resources, people did it. Um, and that was also the moment I realized my failure with the middle and high schools and our curriculum team together is that we didn't put the old stuff in Canvas. We put all that new curriculum that was coming out. We didn't put the trusted, their trusted old material in, in the commons for them um, that they're gonna use no matter what. You can give, I know in my classroom it was, give me this, give me this, great. But I'm still gonna use most of this anyways and develop that and put the two together. We left out for the middle and high schools the old good stuff. And this teacher, amazing, put everything in there already because that's just how he wanted it. He knew that next week he had a quiz and he wanted his kids ready and he knew he put 50 quizzes in the first month ready for that entire rest of that year of that unit. And that was just math and he was moving on to social studies the next week on implementing everything into the commons. And that was that big aha moment that they had on what was happening, what was working. And so in the pilot, those teachers started talking. And what do teachers do when they go back to their building and they share the wealth with the other teachers? Because in that school with Jeff Lee, he had two teachers, him and his partner, but there were also two other teachers who didn't have iPads. They weren't gonna get them until, well, this coming last year. And so they were waiting. They saw what was happening. They'd send me an email every once in a while. When do we get our iPads? Because I want to do that now. Our kids want to see that now. They want to begin, they want to start. And in those PLC groups, that following year, school began, the conversations of those early August meetings with teachers began to change a little bit. They now had iPads, they now had Canvas. How are they gonna take what they did and put those two things together with the old and the new? I started sharing. Um, at every middle, middle elementary school, we have an ITF. Um, there are, they started out with three of them in the early stages of our pilot, and we are up to 17 ITFs in our district now. Uh, which is great support. It was supposed to be, I think I was supposed to be done doing this job last year, but with the man, the principals, they're not going anywhere. We need them now. We need them in our district, we need them helping. Because um, we also found that, we all, I always thought year one would be hard, and then year, I thought year two would be more challenging. Year three and year four, when the teachers get very creative, that's when people like me get very busy. I need this, how do we make this realm of Canvas encompass everything in my classroom? Um, 
And that was the fun part, going to these meetings with these teachers. And it's having, and so the beginning of the success in the elementary is those pilot teachers in those meetings with everyone else, and then me kind of, someone like me in the background watching, answering questions, not taking over, just helping. Because you never want me to take over, someone like me, because it's not mine. I want to help, I want to support, I would love to do it all, but it has to be those teachers and that buy-in. And it's kind of like my, I answered the question when I got this job, how do you work with those, those teachers who just don't want to do it? And I found over the years, the best way is the teacher next door. Get that person on board, because you know that person has the ear, and they'll push everything on that person because they have the same students, same grade, and they're just going to push it on to them anyways. I go to lots of classrooms. And I was sitting in a classroom, and I asked the student the question I, I don't like to use the word hate, but hate when my principal would ask my student, how do you know what to do? Because in, in Vancouver, you'd always have to have the learning target on the board. Not just in Canvas, but it had to be on the wall too. So how do you know what to do? And so I asked the kid this question. He goes, oh, it's, um, do you know about this thing called Canvas? We use it, we talk about it in class all the time. Oh, okay. So he's telling me more about the assignment. Um, I want to get back to the word. He said the word easy in that. Canvas is a really easy thing. Like, what do you mean by easy? He goes, oh, Canvas is really easy, but I like it most when my teacher put, puts pictures in. And so with permission, because I always make sure I have permission, I went and masqueraded in a few fifth grade teacher's classes. Uh, here's one of uh, the classes that the teacher was working with. Um, he put pictures on everything, no matter what it was. He'd build the whole module out, but he'd then create a page on top of that. This is on the iPad. Um, and everything was pictures. So he had, he had his directions, rubric, responsibilities, non-government, examples, and outline. So the student, Canvas was easy for him. It was easy for most of the kids. Um, I remember taking the teachers through the, I'm not sure how many steps it is now, the nine or eight steps on how to turn an assignment from good notes or Word pages to Canvas. I go, that was nine steps. It'll take your, sec your students three seconds, maybe, after the third try. Because it's always easy for them. But the student said, Canvas is easy, but I like, better, like it better with pictures. I'm like, oh. And so I went through, and then I started, every time I saw in elementary, I started stealing and taking it up to higher levels. Because they like those things too. They want them to look neat. Um, and it's a lot more visual. It looks great. Instead of seeing that thing come, or the module come down, you have that. And so this teacher was taking the next levels of integration using pictures. And even if it took a little bit of time, it made it a lot easier for that student and the rest of his students. This was the first time our elementary students had direct access at home to their teachers through Canvas. They were also given an email account, but they really didn't use it. We didn't publicize their email. Even though the app of the mail was there, we focused on Canvas, because that way we had the connection to student to student turned off. It was just student to teacher turned on. So that's all they could email back and forth. Um, and with communication and the emails and the notifications, it was the first time parents were able to see in the, our elementary schools what was happening. We have Skyward grade, our SIS grade system, but it's always after the fact. And teacher, parents always want to know what's happening, not what happened. And so this was that first time it was allowing them to see what was going on in the classroom. Um, I've had LASIK three times in the last year, and there's a nurse there. Her student is in, was in that Mr. Lee's class. And we were talking one day about communication. Oh, you'll love it. Oh, I don't know about this iPad. I don't know about this Canvas thing you're talking about. Last, this last April, I'm in there for my final one. The doctor just wanted to make it perfect. It wasn't anything bad. Uh, he just wanted to make it just right. The nurse comes running in. Matt, I'm so glad you're here. Well, I'm scheduled to be here. The Canvas thing you're talking about, it's great. I know everything my daughter's doing. Sometimes I pretend to be here, I email the teacher, I'm like, whoa. We had come, I'm like, please don't do that anymore. <laughs> Go from the other email. But it was allowing that student, that mom, to see what was going on in that classroom. And this was outside the community, I mean, outside the school setting. I had parents coming up to me. And she'd see me in pres the parent presentations I do for Canvas and for iPads. And she just wanted to make sure I knew what was happening, that she, this was working for her child. And now her child couldn't hide anything anymore. Even when she hit on the to-do list, hit those X's and crossed them out, she knew how to go back and see what was really going on. 
Um, I was really impressed with that. She knew that the student could do that and then go back. Um, the other part of the discussion on the communication with students were the discussions the teachers were having in the classroom. Um, with permission, I was going through teachers' classes um, on what they were doing for um, their discussions in Canvas. Uh, and I saw this question. Um, kind of at the bottom there, if you can see. Um, how will you change the world today? I emailed that teacher the next day and said, may I please come into your classroom and just hang out for the day? I want to see what's going on in here. The students, on, when it was this time in the class and their subject, were having great discussions within Canvas and next to each other about what they wanted, what they were doing. In Canvas, the teacher said, we used to do it as a seminar, and a lot of kids wouldn't talk, they'd feel intimidated. Um, but this was the first time that the teacher saw the kids all levels in her classroom, high and low, were communicating. Even if some kids were sending, they're pretty clear, they found creative memes to put in there that answered that question on what they want to do, but they were putting those in there for that communication. And the energy of the room, um, I like to describe uh, with Kahoot, the energy is always going forward. With quizzes, the energy is here around the room. It was like that quizzes energy that was happening with that conversation. Because it was personal, but they were, it was a safe room. It was spring, so the kids were very comfortable with each other already. That environment had been developed in the classroom, so they're able to share. And then as an outsider looking, just reading through those comments, it was sad, but it was great to see. I won't say anything sad up here. But it just going through what they want to change in the world. From um, It was uh, this school, that one, free and reduced lunch is about 70, 60% in there. And so those kids wanted to do a lot. And that teacher was opening that door for them, for that communication. And it actually led to another project they were about to begin. So that was the first time they saw that with the communication. Um, if looks could kill. Um, they had complete, we had lots of templates and pages set up for them in Canvas. But most of them, like all good teachers, change it, ignore it, delete it, whatever they wanted, and started making it their own. Um, they were doing the design, it was looking great. Um, and the one downside was getting past the PDFs. How do you get past the PDF piece? Because the students were great, they, they knew how to use everything, but all they were doing was consuming information from this teacher. Because that, that was kind of the curriculum they were using in this one section of Something a lot in math, but social studies, lots of sheets coming out in this in one couple of teachers' classrooms. So how do you get past that PDF? Because Commons was great, it was everything was coming down, they were sharing that. How do you get past that? And that was that great part about the iPad um, with having the interactions with all the apps we have on there built in. And I told the Badger people I was gonna tell them great things today. Um, here is a course, I have an ITF at another elementary school. She goes, Matt, I really wanna do something. I heard you talking about badges, can you work with me to make develop badges for me? So she created our a gamification kind of unit. Those are all separate modules in, in uh, Canvas. Uh, each one's just one assignment, and they each have their own badge. But it was using multiple apps within on the iPad, and they'd submit that into Canvas. And I became a student because I wanted to do it too. <laughs> so that's mine up top. And so I began doing the assignments that she had done from iMovie, um, book reports, um, green screen, interacting with everything they'd been learning, but then doing it with their assignments. And these teachers were beginning to say, trust the kids on here's my rubric, here's what I want. How do you want to give me that information? And Canvas was housing all this for us, and the kids were using the iPad and all those creation apps to get that content to the teacher. And then the teacher goes, I'm never doing that. This is what I'm doing now going through these projects, um, everyone's different, I'm not reading the same paper over and over again, the presentations, it's not, like me, 30 PowerPoints going over and over again. It's entertaining, the kids are entertained, there's so much going on. Um, like this happened, and we had to bring it to an end, because that all, it's springtime, what happens in spring? Testing. And the whole school kind of woof, shuts down. But the buzz is there for that, te that fifth grade teacher that was doing this. And then the third grade teachers heard about it, and the fourth grade teachers, and they now know this is happening. With that student choice, yeah, go ahead. I can repeat it when you say I, it. I, was, I have pretty loud talking. Yeah. Um, on the badges, did, I mean, is that something that like you have checked off, so is that in um, Canvas? Yes, it's in Canvas. Um, on the 
I should have taken the screenshot of the left side column of the screen in the navigation toolbar. It says badges, and so when you click on badges, Badger badges in this case, it showed that you had multiple options. You have leaderboard, I think that's what the top one's for of me, the leaderboard, you have, and then just overall what the badges they've earned on there. Um, and working with that ITF and then the teacher that she worked with, they were, she designed all those badges in their system just by going through pictures and adding JPEG, no, it has to be a PNG file, I think, uh, to those and making it unique to that, that environment of that school. Because those are the, also the backgrounds of school colors, so she went through and changed all those for them. Um, it began with a spring break challenge for them. Starting, so to get them doing work over spring break is how we implemented this one. And we had prizes, some prizes for them, just some, but it was us, it wasn't the teacher giving them candy or something like that, but you know, candy and elementary kids go hand in hand sometimes. I know, I like rewards for them, but it worked in great things. Along with that came um, pages built for choice. Um, one of our ITFs had the idea, we always taught lessons on how to, how to use this app for multiple situations. But then we started taking our hour of creation to this classrooms. We would take over an hour, we'd bring in four or five ITFs, do four or five apps, and take over that teacher's classroom for about an hour, and show the kids how to do all those pieces. And then they'd go through them, play with them, and we talk about how you would use those in each subject area, math, science, history. Uh, and then we showed them in Canvas in our toolkit course how to find those resources again for them. If they want to go back for a teacher suggest a project, we taught them how to advocate for themselves, saying the teacher said I want, they want this. How can you maybe suggest that to a teacher to say, I would love to do iMotion for this assignment. Can I do that for this book report instead of the paper? And so they started doing those things, and they had the resources built in for them. Here's our, one of our sessions or one of our ITFs. Sorry for the kind of blurred out faces, but I didn't have their permission. Um, of, I think she was doing green screen. And so we'd go meet, and then they'd come back, and the kids are super excited. The best part about this, especially in this situation, those two classrooms to the left, or the kids are getting iPads this August. And so they're like, oh, when do we get those? When can we start? So that by, and then you have the other teachers poking their heads out. And then the word of mouth, because they get very excited with those. Um, so halfway through the year again, we have our third and fourth grade pilot teachers. This time we had, we listened to those fifth grade teachers in our meetings on what they wanted and what they were doing. They wanted five courses for their one class, not just one. So every elementary teacher has five courses. One is their homeroom. Now they don't have to use them all. Some did. Some only used the one that we titled homeroom and everything was housed in there. But some teachers, not elementary, not being used to a traditional grade book, love the fact that Canvas had that form. So they had this data in Canvas that then they could write their, my son's just finished kindergarten, I remember his lengthy three, four paragraphs of writing about him. So they could take all that data and those analytics and then fill out those papers, those elementary report cards. So that worked so well for them. So we developed those five courses. This is what it looked like last year, it's changing already. It takes 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, but some take, some used it, some didn't, some changed it right away. Some automatically went to assignments, some went to modules as their homepage and ignored everything we gave them. And we wanted them to do that. The best part about this um, is once the pilots in the years, throughout the year, are PD. Teachers love students. Teachers don't love TOSAs. They work with TOSAs, they work with us, they like us in the, the business world, in the classrooms, but if a student is saying something, they will listen. We invite all of our upcoming teachers with Canvas and iPads to come to our after school PDs where the students lead everything. That is really, what's that? Uh, teacher on special assignment. So me, someone who left the classroom and came out. Um, and they go around from classroom to classroom. Usually we have about six classrooms. In this situation we had two elementary, or two third grade, a fourth grade, and two fifth grade classrooms saying what they did and what they liked. And the teachers went around, asked questions, and you, there's always those teachers you know they want to ask that one question. They want the kid to say, I don't really like technology. And the, this girl responds to this teacher. I wish I would record, this is the one I didn't record. Uh, she said, I always get to use paper and pencil in my classroom. 
I just submit it through Canvas. I get a draw, my teacher lets me do it. If it's an art project or an animation thing, I always ask, can I just draw it and then submit it digitally through Canvas? And the teacher has never yet to say no to her because he knows how important this is, but it's still controlling his classroom where it's digital on his end. And then she gets her artwork right back right away. So that part was one of the best things about the iPad in the classroom, making that connection. So if it was, I remember her, because the student's mom doesn't like her having a lot of screen time, so she does everything. But if it's just submissions, it doesn't take long at all for her. I only have 10 minutes. Um, there's a video here um, of two, a couple students answering all our questions on what they like. And it's always fun when you ask a kid, so what are you doing? Oh, this is Canvas. This is what's going on. It's great because our teacher puts all the work right here for us and we find it and they go break th step by step through it. And those answers those kids are giving are just, you'd think we gave them the script on what to say on my job to promote them on those situations. They are so good um, and they stay after school, they want to tell everybody about what they're doing. Um, they already told their parents, they want to tell every other teacher because they know, hey, all the teachers are coming today. Who wants to stay? The whole class raises their hand. And it's pretty much just who brings the permission slips back to stay after school that day. Um, but it also, those after school programs increase RPD. Our August trainings for Canvas have already risen, the numbers I was looking through before I came here this week. Um, they are taking the numbers, or taking this information they saw, and want to learn. Because with our normal trainings, we talk for like 10 minutes, not up to 45 now, uh, talk for 10 minutes, and we have breakout sessions. Every 20 minutes, that corners assignments, that corners discussions, and the teachers rotate based on their need in their classroom and what they want to learn for those, those times. And then we've taken that to the district, and then we go to the buildings and do the same things. The best idea of all was one of my RTFs, or ITFs, at an elementary school next to, really close to my house. Student, for student PD, they had the students present to the students of the upcoming kids. This, by far, was amazing. They were teaching apps, they were teaching Canvas, and the kids were so excited, not just because they're getting an iPad next year, because they wanted to do all those things that those kids were doing in the same way they were doing it. And uh, two teachers walked over to me because they saw me kind of like giggling because they weren't squirming, but they knew that they had to learn what was happening. And they had until September. Actually, we started in August, early this year, but August, they had to learn right away, at least the minimal amount, so they can get started right away. And because of those kids pushing, those other kids, they knew that they had to do it no matter what, because those kids are expecting it, and the parents are expecting it. So it's that good pressure. It's not from us, it's from the kids. And it's hard to say no to those kids that just say, please, 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 let us do this. Um, I don't my time. Uh, the future of our, our district, where are we going? Um, one of the greatest things our, um, my, our head admin for Canvas in our district did was our toolkit there on the far left. Those are all our single sign-ons. So the kids just go through Canvas, click on that icon, and automatically takes them to Sawyer Montage, Think Circa, iCurio, whichever password they have, and Canvas takes care of the login for them. There are some times when a kid forgets a password, but when it's here, it's amazing. Unless they forget their Canvas password, which does happen early on. Uh, but it's one click in, one click out, and they're in the program that the teacher needs them in for testing or whatever it is they're working on. The middle column is all the pages we've already established for this year's courses that they have options for to use. They can go through those, use those, or just ignore them. I know one just says, hello, welcome to my class, with some nice graphics on it, if that's all they want. Because the nice part with the iPad is it's a lot more user-friendly with the Canvas app and how it looks. Yeah. We do not. You do not. Okay. Well, uh, we're, I'm crossing my fingers. Uh, it's because of our, our M MDM management system. Yes. Uh, it's not quite there yet. We're not quite ready. Because okay. our, our accounts last year were Apple accounts, but they were fake ones by us. Next year, I think they're coming on board with those Apple accounts so that we can use Apple Classrooms in some capacity as manage. far as what's happening on each, every kid's iPad. Because I know with it, when, once that happens, we'll get if not 100% buy-in from every teacher, because that's usually the one cause. How do I know what they're doing? And you can't always just tell a teacher to walk around. Even though you want right. to, you can't always just tell a teacher you need to you know, manage your classroom a little bit. Okay, I guess my question was gonna be with Apple Classroom, so you, um, you're able to lock, lock them into yes. one app. Mm -hmm. So I was just curious if anybody else is using Apple Classroom, if you lock them into Canvas, can they go out to another app? Side 
So I think that's the difference between if you embed this stuff like Google Drive or some other things that could just be separate apps, that helps. So if you lock them in Canvas, they can still upload stuff from Drive or, I mean, any, any of the third-party apps that have their own integration with Canvas, all of that works because it's kind of just in the framework of the Canvas app. Yeah, and with the, our uh, Creation Station apps there, that's where my department's really going with Canvas and, uh, and iPads, is making it more personalized for the teachers and the students and how we keep allowing them to create and create and create on what they want in their classrooms and it, for their own education. Uh, and it's nice, especially with the um, meeting that happened this, this afternoon, on what's coming out in Canvas that will allow us to use those things. And um, even with uh, the badging system, um, I guess it's another promo for Badger because they were showing me the new system of, it looked like a bracketing system on their, their course manage, on their still badging and going through a module, but it's, um, they get to choose where they go next on accomplishing those goals. And so that's kind of the next stage on getting that buy-in, that excitement, that gamification. I was ready for this last year. Our teachers are now getting ready for it this year, I think. They've seen it. They want it. Um, and so it's been pretty exciting. And so each day is different and, and very new. But that's the fun part about having a job like this in our district, especially now that I get to work with all the elementary teachers and students. Any questions before I close it up? I think I have like two minutes. Well, thank you. My name is Matt Greco. I'm from Vancouver Public Schools. And thank you for staying here today. <laughs>